Let's have a look at the uh, wall tool in a little bit more detail. Double clicking the wall tool opens up the dialog box. Um, I can also uh, open the dialog box by uh, clicking this button here once. It does the same thing. Um, and I'll just run through the uh, different parts of the uh, dialog box with you so you become familiar. As I said earlier, um, most of the tools are broken up in the same sort of pattern where we deal with geometry of the wall, the size of the wall or the size of the slab, the roof up here in the top. Um, and each tool sometimes has its own special characteristics but generally here with the wall tool is the height of the wall how high the wall is above the story you're in and how high the wall is above the Australian height datum now that's uh, because I'm in the ground floor level if I was to say OK and jump down to the AHD level and open up the wall tool it tells me I'm both um, at zero level to the story I'm in and zero level to the Australian height data or to the project or to project zero. Uh, the wall's 2.7 high yeah um, let's jump back up to the ground floor open up the wall tool you can see how the story levels change reflecting how high I am above um, AHD, the Australian height datum. Down here, um, in this part of the dialog box, we control what the wall is going to look like in on the floor plan and the section. So we can choose uh, the stories that we want the wall to be visible in. We can um, control um, the construction um, the hatch patterns for the wall and the type of construction we want and there's a huge range of the different types of construction systems which you can customize and we'll look at that at some point there's also modeling and so um, we can choose the materials that we want to finish the wall off and I'd want to draw your attention to this arrow it refers to what um, is called the active edge of a wall in ARCHICAD. So the arrow on this side is on the same face as the wall, that is the active edge of the wall, and I can change the material there. The core material of the wall I can change here, and the surface material on the opposite face of the active edge I can change here. And you'll notice if you click on, on these buttons, you can see all the materials that are available to us in this file. You can create new ones, you can delete them, you can import materials and I'm using the wheel of my mouse to scroll through uh, all the materials. These not only give us a color but they also give us a photographic texture, a hatch pattern and you'll see later when we do more sophisticated renderings, transparency, reflectivity, shininess and those sorts of characteristics are also built into the materials. Okay, So I'm going to build a wall quickly just as a demonstration that's at zero height to the story I'm in. Uh, automatically sets the height above the Australian height datum. So I'm just going to uh, draw a line through here. One click, a second click finishes the wall and that's because I'm in this option. Okay, If I was in this option, I could keep clicking my mouse and it would change direction. Okay, And there's a number of different options that you can choose from. Um, generating a 3D view, I hit F5 on the keyboard and you can see the wall that I've just drawn. Um, o if I click O on the keyboard, it generates a um, orbit command, which allows me to click and rotate around my project. And you can see the walls that I've just drawn casting a shadow on the site below. Um, one face of the wall, that is the active face of the wall, has been rendered in brickwork. The non-active face 
a non-active edge of the wall has been rendered in uh, plaster or something like that and the core of the wall is also in brickwork okay and um, I can now change the height of my wall with stories so for example I could go into the story settings dialog box and instead of five meters my ground floor being five meters above AHD I can make that um, say four meters above AHD and Archicad automatically drops everything down by one meter so I can play around with the height of my building um, and in fact if I had more stories above all the stories would be adjusted simply by changing that uh, story settings height there okay just that first one that is the height from AHD to my first story you can uh, adjust that to suit your site okay so get familiar with that I'd like you to get familiar with the wall settings dialog box um, have a play with some walls um, and get familiar with how they work and try and understand how they work in relationship to stories. Thanks.